Welcome to the college football portion of the locker room. It is a great day, a great day, and a great week to be a Nebraska Cornhusker. Tough week for Michigan. Tough week to be a Michigan Wolverine. Yeah. We'll obviously cover a little yeah. bit of that. But, guys, Husker football is fucking almost back. I say almost. I feel like it's back. I'm just going to say almost because I feel like we have a trap game this week against Northern Iowa. Trap game? A trap game. Oh, I thought yeah. you said a trap game. I was trap game is one of those uh, things like it's easy to show for the opener. Dylan Railo's first start. It's even easier to show for Colorado. Like you, you were the at height, the atmosphere. Yeah, the, the environment was insane. Yeah. But knowing you got, again, a tough Illinois football team on the schedule next week, it's easy to like get a little comfortable with everybody patting you on the ass against yeah. Northern Iowa. Like I think they're going to win no matter what, but if you only win this game by a single, like a, a single score, that's – that's where I think it's like a trap game. Yeah, or the guys just don't show your, up. Yeah. yeah. The guys just don't show up and hang test. fucking 50 on them. It's a the, test. Because this test. team does not belong on the football field yeah. in Nebraska. They all wish they could wear an N on the side of their helmet. And we got to treat them as such. Yeah, no, There's finally right. an expectation in Lincoln. Right. Oh, yeah. And it's like living up to that expectation now. You need to cover against Northern Iowa. Yeah. I, I think the spread there might be 30. Uh, that that's is gotta crazy. Be a great feeling too. It's a great know, feeling. I'm not touching it. It is a great feeling. Yeah, right. I high. am starting to. Everybody would call me crazy, but I don't think it's crazy to talk about Nebraska playing for a college football playoff spot. No, oh, I give them that for sure. Yeah, I mean the way they look, they the keep Big playing Ten. the way they have, and we'll just we'll just we'll just pretend that they lose to Ohio State. It's a one loss Nebraska team with the prestige of the end. Yeah, I could see you sleeping in there 11 and 12. You think they'll lose to Ohio State? I mean, I think you got two undefeated teams at that point. Uh, listen. Yeah, I can. I I'm, give you that. Yeah, Ohio State's got I, I hate Ohio State. The only team I hate more than Ohio State is Michigan State. They look fucking good. I mean, they yeah. paid all the money in the world. Jim Kelly's offense. Yeah. They, they're, they're, they're putting points on the board. Their defense is playing well. That's a good, that's a good ball club. Yeah, That's a sure. really well-oiled ball club right now. Yeah. So but you like, got it. You just, we, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Right. But if we're just doing a grand picture... We'll just say it's a loss for the argument and say you can still make the playoff. Yeah, what is that, 11-1? and one? We're playing for the Big Ten Championship. Yeah. Probably I think, playing Ohio State again if mm, the, if we're talking yeah. grand scheme. Like, we State could very well see a Nebraska-Michigan uh, Big Ten Championship game. Let's hope we Wait, see what? Bowl. He's, he's talking about Michigan. Yeah, yeah uh, he said that right. Uh, they got to win out. They would have to win out to do that. They have to win out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You but can... a one-loss team, I mean, Oregon hasn't looked great. They play Washington. They kind of already own could Washington. Could you imagine a Minnesota. Ball? Big Ten championship would be unbelievable. That would be a little, insane. A little scary. Awesome. That would be the Big yeah. Ten taking over again. Yeah, I mean, the Big, that, the Big Ten championship is always Big Ten teams, but yeah. yes. I mean, I'm just That's saying. That's a good point, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the Big two Ten, Big Ten teams are in yeah, the championship. Yeah. Big Ten might be taking over. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's not crazy to think. <laughs> <laughs> We're owning it. We own the college football landscape. Yeah, no, I mean, Big Ten is showing up this year. I so. think if you guys just win by 28 mm -hmm. points, even if you all don't cover, you it's a good game. Up? Texas, Michigan. It's SEC versus Big Ten. I know, but that's yeah. only that was. I I mean, listen, we yeah we fell we we fell asleep at the wheel in that one. Colson Loveland gets caught, you know, catches the ball in stride. It's a totally different game. There's no question about that. But I don't know if you anybody know? stopping Quinn Ewers in that offense. I, I don't know, yeah. dude. You, don't, you never know what a spark does. You saw the Bears. The Bears were worse than the Titans last week, and then all of a sudden, a couple of sparks happen. Yeah. Interception, this, that, and the other. That's all you need. Yeah. Get back on track, game. Yeah. GBOT. Yeah. GBOT. Yeah. GBOT. GBOT. Start yeah. off with the GBOT Trophy Game of the Week. Let's talk about the Trophy Game of the Week. Before we talk about that, we're going to talk about our beautiful partners at DraftKings. Whether you're chilling for your alma mater or just love the thrill of college football, you're going to want to listen to this. I've partnered, we've partnered with DraftKings, and they have an offer that's perfect for game day. Right now, all customers who bet $5 will instantly get $250 back in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using promo code LOCKER, L-O-C-K-E-R, the crown is yours. That's $250 in bonus bets instantly after betting just $5. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. That's a fun little loophole, right? All 50 states, go have a little fun with Love it. Love that loophole. Trophy game of the week. Uh, I, I want to start off by saying, and I, I hope this age as well, I feel so good about my college picks. No, I don't feel as strong about my NFL picks. I'm, I want to tell the people that you seeing the board now. clear in college. I, right I, now? I'm seeing everything, and I, it's all kind of coming to me. As I'm, as long as I didn't make a mistake like I did on my ballsy pick, I feel really good about these picks. My trophy game of the week is Oregon versus Oregon State, the Civil War. Oregon's won the last three. They're split in the last six games as far as against the spread, but Oregon hasn't looked good. 
They were losing to Boise State, Idaho. The spread is 16 and a half. What are you about to do right now? Rivalry games. I'm taking Oregon State to cover 16 and a half here. I'm taking Oregon State. Dan Lanning, like, listen, I was not able to go to the spring tour this year with Oregon. The way everybody in this room who was out there talks about it, it makes me a bigger fan of Dan Lanning in in Oregon. This is strictly a business move right here. The way Oregon has looked, I got to feel good about the Beavers coming in and covering 16 and a half. Their offense has not been clicking the way they need to at the Ducks. I feel real good about that, and the points are only 50. I've thought about dipping in that over. Dip in it. They dive just, in. I don't want to dive. I'm dive gonna, in, bro. I, I feel really good about 16 and a half. I feel really good about 16 and a half. That's my trophy game. I'm not touching that game. I mean, Oregon, yeah. like, I thought that they would mop the floor at Boise State. Like, yeah, they had a good – Boise has a, a good running back, but I, I'm, I'm bothered and I'm disappointed right now in the Oregon Ducks. It's a team I want to root for. You know, Dan Lanning, you know that's my guy. If I got married tomorrow, he Love might him. be up there right next to me. Oh. Type of guy. Yeah, behind you. All good. Behind All you. good. Continue. Oh, co- co- Continue. <laughs> just do it by height again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guy you just but, met. Yeah, I mean, he's a Missouri guy. I just. Um, Watches the show. Fan of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, bummed. Yeah. I'm bummed about Oregon right now. I'm staying away from that game. Right. Yeah, me too. But you're staying away you from take- the game because you're a fan of Dan, not because. And I, like, I want to see Oregon play well. I want to I see, see Oregon win. Yeah. I want to see Oregon yeah, yeah, yeah. win. I, I, and listen, if they covered, it's like, I'm happy because Dan is a fan of busting with the boys. I love that. Like I said, strictly business move. Yeah. I bet this game. And I'm staying away because I bet on him in week one. I doubled down. I doubled down because obviously I talked directly to Coach Lanning last week. I doubled down and lost that one. I just, I have to stay. I have to remove my heart so from the So just go the other way. Come I can't do that. Me. I can't do that. Civil but war. it'd be like, like I bet with my heart last week in Michigan. And every part of me was like, man, Texas could mop these dudes. Yeah. And I did it the year before with Nebraska all the time. Like, yeah. I've got to stop betting with my heart. Yeah. You're, you're, I have to. Your maturity is outstanding. Go ahead. I my trophy game. Well, oh, you, no, you, no, you, go you, you want me to go? Yeah, you got you it. You go ahead. No, I was just going to say I'm, I'll, not, I'll take, I'm not betting. Go ahead. You got it. Boston College. Wait. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boston College is at Missouri this week. The spread, Missouri's favored by 16 and a half. The over-under is 54. I like Boston College. I think Mizzou's a good football team. Mizzou's got a shot to be competing for the college football playoff. But Billy O is a college football coach, and he has those Boston College kids a little brainwashed right now. They come out, they beat uh, Florida State 28-13. Who's a bad ball club? Bad ball club. Bad ball club. But who? who how you say this? Duquesne? Yeah. Duquesne. Do what? Duquesne. They mop them 56 to nothing. They mop them 56 to nothing. French. This team can score some points. Billy O, I love him as a college football coach. I think they go into Missouri. Obviously, I'm taking the point 16 and a half, but I think they keep it within that two score range. I like Boston College at Mizzou. I hate Bill O'Brien. <laughs> I think he's a little bitch. Whoa. I think he's got a button chin. Children he show. talked shit Kids about show. me constantly when he was at Houston. The players that came over said he talked shit. He and I would talk shit during games. That's why I'm staying away from the game. You're probably right. Ooh. I'm so there's away. a little bad blood. Yeah, I think I think Bill. I think there's the way a little you, bad blood with Billy O. You like the new chairs. I do yeah, like the new chairs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, college yeah, football yeah. just hypes me up. NFL seems too real, too close to the vest. Like you really got to be dialed in and you feel a little more professional. College football is way more fun. It's more fun no. to be like, yes, uh, emotionally unstable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. College yeah, football, yeah, you can yeah, be nah. emotionally unstable. Yeah. Like BC is probably going to do what Will just said. I was half listening because I was just thinking about how much hating I hate Bill O'Brien. Bill was at Penn State when I was at Michigan, said nasty things. He was at Houston when I was at Tennessee, said nasty things. I had Ben Jones and a bunch of guys come over from Houston and be like, Bill O'Brien says this about you, says that about you. I gave Bill O'Brien the fucking bird when we ran a power flip and Derrick Henry took it down their sidelines. I, he's he is it's a trophy op- game between Taylor and Billy O this week. He, he openly told me to go fuck myself one time. Like, it's just... Go Mizzou minus 16 and a half. Honestly... You were no, fuck Billy I'm, O, bro. I, I, go Mizzou. I hey, just, that, the Mizzou's I, listen, tough. I'm, I just, wanna st- I, I'm just going to stay. I'm just going to stay. I'm going to stay. I don't want to bet against you. I don't want to bet against you in, in the pro. Yeah. It's like it's like you with Dave. Okay. It's like you with yeah. Dave. Like you don't want to go ham on Dave because you know I'm going to catch lots of strays. Right. Right. And it hurts. I've told you, you can if you want, <laughs> but I'm not going to bet against him. I'm not going to, but I'm not going to bet it because. All right. 
I love that you bitch. got that off your chest, though. Yeah. At first, I'm thinking, God damn, what, what's happening here? He's but a now, bitch. Now, now yeah. the context of it makes yeah. sense. I just Honestly, college that football is just too many teams, and fucking, hey, that, it just throws me for a loop. I'm, college football is not it for me. It's not fun. It's not exciting. It's just... You but also, tell people it, why they should take your trophy game of the week pick. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let me get mine going. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take 20 Arizona versus 14 Kansas State, and I'm taking Arizona. And why I'm taking Arizona? Because Noah Fawi Fawti. Yep, that's a perfect pronunciation. I don't know if that's how you say his last He's a name. Beast. Oosh. And McMillan, and the receiver McMillan is a beast have y'all seen what that man been doing he's been going out there putting it on a show i just feel like they're gonna come out there they're gonna upset kansas state get the job done so i'm taking arizona that is my game trophy game of the week arizona versus kansas state arizona get it done baby your hometown shout out mark, shout out mark weisscheck i don't know who that is yeah shout out the boy mark i'll give you something too because i want to get in on this game Shout out to boy Bryce Brookhart. He DM me. He DMs me his picks every week. And low did he have that pick? It's pretty nice. He likes Kansas State, Arizona, the over. Both teams with low scores last week, which helped bring the total down, but they both have the potential of high-powered offenses. Yes, they yes. just haven't performed yet. Performed yet. So I, I, I love the over. What's the total there? The total is uh, 58 and a half. 58 and a half. I'm, ro- I'm rocking with my boy Bryce. Shout out Bryce, man. So you're going the over in that game. Going over. Because I know Arizona had a little struggle with NAU. Shout out the boys in Flagstaff, Arizona, and Lumberjacks. Played there one time. But they um, came back and got it done. Yeah, they came back and got it done. There's a lot of expectations on Arizona this year. I don't think they're the best team in Arizona. Arizona State is. I a, think the Valley's been ignited. Arizona State is also the ignited. Valley's the Valley. been ignited. But they they not they're not ranked though. I don't think Arizona State are they? What's that got to do with anything? They're not ranked. They're coming. Yeah, they're they're coming. Not yet. They just beat Mississippi State. They did, but they're not ranked. Uh, well, you know what? They play the last game of the year. We'll see. Yeah. Tear talk. Tear yeah. talk. All right. Here's how we threw a little wrinkle in tear talk. We can't share the same one. So once it is picked, once a tier three team is picked, we cannot use that. We have two or three to kind of play with. Who wants to start off the tier three? I'll start because I just touched. Okay. I just touched by talking about ASU. ASU's know. playing Texas State. Uh, ASU's favored by one and a half. The, the, the points are 60. I don't know about that one. But I think ASU, Dillingham, chaparral guy, you, Charlie Rago, special teams coach, my head coach in high school, they're igniting the Valley. And Tempe is a place that if they could just have enough success – and start to get some of these big money people to start throwing money at NIL deals, Arizona State could be a good fucking ball club, like a real ball club. And I think they take advantage of Texas State in this game. They win that one. Especially with that running back, Cam Scatabui or whatever, how you say it? I hope that's the real name. How you say his last name, Cam? You got it. Yeah, Scatabui. Yeah, hey. Uh, yeah. That man, white running back. Yeah, and we coached him in the spring game. He was my running back. He was nice. He was. What? He yeah. touched the ball, hey. what, 30 times that yeah. game? Yeah. They were like, hey, we need to get him out. It's a spring game. We need to get him some rest. He's like a starter. I was like, oh, I need him in there. <laughs> hey, bro, we need you in there. Need you we got to win this game. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your? All right, here, since buddy? you took that, I'm going to go. I have a couple on here. And, and, again, if you're new watching this, Tier 3 is an unranked team. You're taking an unranked team in this. Tier 2, you're going anybody ranked from 11 to 25. And our Tier 1 team, you're taking a game ranked between 1 and 10. But my Tier 3 is going to be, and, again, strictly business decision. Strictly business, Arkansas State to cover plus 23 and a half at Michigan. <laughs> Michigan's winning the game, but I think what we've seen out I'm of the offense, around, guys. do they have the power to cover? Wait, who you just say? Arkansas State? Yeah, plus 23 and a half. Here's where I think Michigan. you're wrong. And, and like, it's Arkansas it's State. A e- every fan that left that stadium, which was a lot of fans that left after halftime. They're very disappointed. They're very disappointed. Nobody's going to be excited about Arkansas State. They're going to come in. It's just not going to be. And I think you got a lot of question marks right now. I think the, the Michigan football team needs to look themselves in the mirror at nighttime before they go to bed and question whether or not they believe that they're a Wolverine because they're not playing Wolverine football right now. I, I strongly believe that. Can I tell you something? Defensively, you got too many dogs on that team, bro. They all need to be checking themselves. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You're not wrong. Because it, it's really, I'm not. I like, know. it's. Here's where I think they I can cover. I want you guys to turn it around. I think they can cover because I think we'll be able to score that many points. And I think the defense is going to do really well because Wink does a lot of exotic blitzes. Now, Quinn Ewers, when he comes in, he's a great elite Heisman caliber quarterback. 
yeah. that has probably been taught to differentiate to single high, two high, nickel capped, those types of things. I don't know anything about Arkansas or Kansas State. I don't, I don't know anything about them, but I'm assuming that they probably aren't going to be able to handle exotic blitzes the way that Texas was able to. Yeah. And they'll, they'll, they'll hopefully put a goose egg up. Texas I looks think guys, good, man. Listen, if we're talking about strictly accountability, because I am a Wolverine through and through. I love these boys. Leave, leaving that game, it broke my – a piece of me died on Saturday. Mason Graham is one of those guys that needs to have accountability. The, it was the second quarter, him walking while the rest of the defense was having a conversation. I dap him up right after halftime. He seemed very lethargic in his attitude about going into that game. You need him to be more of a leader in the situation just from the two things I saw in that game. Mm-hmm. Just strictly accountability. But I think Sharon Moore is going to get these boys right. He's going to get those boys right. Obviously, that broke my heart for you to say that, but you didn't say anything wrong. Business decision, like you said. Business decision. Yeah, business decision. decision. I was looking at South Carolina plus seven against LSU. I, South Carolina came out swinging last week against Kentucky. They yeah. cleaned up the offense a little bit more. I love – I'm going to be tuned into that game because they got a shot, man. South Carolina's got a shot. My tier three is going to be UNLV at Kansas. I'm taking Kansas minus seven. Uh, the over-under is 58, but I'm taking Kansas. That boy Ricky White the third receiver – he can have a day nice. out there. He Quiet. can have a day. So uh, I'm going to take those boys to beat UNLV straight up, which they should. I mean, they, they're they favored to win the game by seven. So, Hang on, hang on, hang on. What are you taking here? Kansas. Kansas to cover, right? Yeah, You yeah. said straight up. That confused me. No, yeah, yeah. Like he was going to go Kansas money line. No, yeah, okay. But that ain't the word you use right, to get you, money got line. You, but got yeah, you, okay. got you. I don't know anything about either of those teams. Be honest. I do like the fact that UNLV does a slot machine when they get a pick. Oh, yeah, they do. That's fun for me to see. Did you see that? uh, Was it the football team or was it the cheerleaders? UNLV? Go off, Horny Will. What they do? No, no, it was dudes. Oh, go off, Horny Will. They was doing that little TikTok dance, UNLV. Dudes? Was that UNLV? I didn't see that. Let me see. You talking about when they were talking about Sanders? Nah, there's something out there. Or something. I thought it was UNLV. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a different team. Like dudes doing the TikTok dance? Like hey, we, 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 can, we can cut this part. I want to find it. Oh, it, that was the cheer squad. It's like guy cheer squad. Is it UNLV? That was UNLV. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy cheer squad for UNLV. Yeah. Give me Kansas. They look, yeah, they look a little zesty. <laughs> Give me yeah, Kansas. I, I, it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going. You know, I'm not going to ride. I'm not going to touch that game. Actually, I am. Give me Kansas minus seven. Yeah, because cool. Kansas is yeah. Kansas is a good team. They They're are a good back team after. Being put in their place a little bit. Their ego got checked. Yeah, they got checked. Yeah, they they did. did. (laughs) I'll start it off with uh, going tier two. I'm going to go Tulane at Oklahoma. The spread is Oklahoma's favorite, minus 13 and a half. The over-under is 47 and a half. I'm taking Oklahoma to cover, minus 13 and a half. Tulane fought their asses off against Kansas State. An emotional loss for them. I think they're a little tired. They're a little empty in the tank because you're going against an Oklahoma team who had way too close of a game against Houston, that's going to feel like a loss all week long. They didn't score over 20 points against Houston. I think they make it rain out here against Tulane, and I like them to cover minus 13 and a half against Tulane. At Oklahoma, too. If anybody wants in on that, I love that. That's locks in the chat. That's locks in the chat. I'll go locks in the chat. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to do that one anyway. I had That was my second one. If That was your tier two? Well, no, and, and just in case. I had right. multiple just in case, and that was a Got to get your board ready. So I, I'm going to ride with you on that. Mm. And then I'll, my tier two, I'm going to go Oklahoma State to cover minus 20 and a half at Tulsa. That scares me. Why? I don't know. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Hey, who'd they play last week? Arkansas. Arkansas. Arkansas, Arkansas should have beat them. They, they should have. The key word. But this is Tulsa. Like, come on, man. I feel you. Like, That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points. Y'all want to move the line? Coop. Coop, how do we feel about Oklahoma State? They're going to cover for sure. They're going to cover they're for sure? They're going to cover for sure? Cooper Com against stop. Tulsa, right? Cooper Com locks pick of the week. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> Cooper Com lock. Oklahoma State. They're covering minus what? Twenty and a half. Twenty and a half. All right, there you go. We can move the line, but you, we're it, not I, moving the line. Yeah, we gotta stop doing you that. You mean we can move the line? We gotta stop doing that. What? You can move the line. It's a it's a thing. I know it's a thing, but, but the not, thing not, not on the sure. show. Not on the show. <laughs> Uh, my tier two is going to be Utah Utes minus 20 versus Utah State. Now, this one hurts me a little bit because uh, my first offer in high school is from Utah State. Yeah? Didn't even know it was coming. Spring ball, coach walks up to me, shakes my hand, says, hey, we'd love to have you. I think he's just giving me a compliment. Head coach Charlie Ragel, 
comes up to me, says, how's it feel? I said, what do you mean? He goes, oh, they just offered you a scholarship. Right then and there, I knew the boy was going to the NFL. Not a big deal. But I'm taking Utah. Minus 20? Minus 20. What you got? What you got? I had that one, too. Um, uh, I've seen what your ballsy pick was. Oh. I had that one, yeah, too. Yeah, Utah minus 20. And, uh, Utah is just – they're a good program every single year. They got a lot of the Pollock Cats in there. Anytime you're playing a team – in the same state as you, it's a personal game. They're outmanned and outgunned in the Utah State category. Utah's going to take this one, and they're going to cover minus twenty. I like that. I had that one as well. You want to kick off tier one, or is it you taking the tier one? I, I could take the tier one first. I drafted the first in tier two. So you know, I got to take my tier one. Number one, Georgia Bulldogs <laughs> at Kentucky. <laughs> I'm taking the Bulldogs. I mean, come on, let you just. The Bulldogs looking really good. You got Carson Beck out there slanging it, doing his thing, controlling that offense. I'm sticking with those boys, so I'm taking Carson them. Carson Beck's a quarterback? Carson, what, Beck? Beck Beck's what? a quarterback for Georgia? Yeah. Is you he sure not? about that? I'm definitely sure about All that. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, Riley Leonard wishes he was on Duke. Hey, but I, I told you, Malik, I gave Malik his, his props. Malik was actually a quarterback. He went nuts. Keep doing your thing. Atta boy. Keep getting after him. Sorry that I disrespected you, man. But he was a transfer from Texas. So, you know, they didn't have a lot of information on him at that time. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> not, not a lot of info out there on the internet to know who the quarterback was for Duke last week. Uh, minus 24. Georgia is minus 24 against Kentucky. Uh, I think they cover that. I agree with you. Yeah. That, that was in my tier one as well. Mm. It was when I was doing my couple of picks, I think Georgia's a good looking ball club. Yeah. And Kentucky after last week, I think they're dead. Yeah. You wanna, done. You want to draft second? Yeah, I'll go. My tier one, uh, probably the best team in college football. Texas Longhorns, they're minus 35 and a half against uh, UTSA, which is University of Texas San Antonio. At San Antonio. So many colleges in Texas. It's crazy. The University of Texas at San Antonio. There's no A in the middle of the U, the T and the S. I was just telling you what Okay, it at San Antonio. We'll, we'll do that. Texas covered, they covered their spread in the last two games, if you guys are wondering. 62 to 0 against Colorado State. And um, obviously, they did well uh, last week. So, Quinn Ewers is a good, good player. Offensive line, solid. I hate the fact that like I'm having to talk about this. Uh, <laughs> Tier Texas, one, the team that mopped the Texas stuff. money, <laughs> minus 35. Texas. Now. It's just yeah. business. Onward. Alabama, minus 16 at Wisconsin. Oh, I think pick. Alabama great beats pick. the shit out of them. It's a great pick. Wisconsin is not like they haven't made a jump from year one to year two under Fickle the way I thought that they would. Um, I don't feel like Wisconsin, they're kind of getting away from being – you got five hogs. With that line of scrimmage is bigger than most in the NFL. They're not utilizing that. They're a little more pass happy than the Wisconsin of past. And I think Alabama, bro, is like who, 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 I forget who Alabama played last week, but you got Tyler Booker laughing at these kids that are walking by him. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're walking by him in the end zone and he's pointing and laughing at them. Like the <laughs> confidence that Alabama just had, the mentality that they have, and it seems like they haven't missed a beat uh, with their new staff. I like Alabama to go in Wisconsin. Madison's going to be rocking for literally two series. And Alabama's going to shut them up. I love Alabama minus 16 here. Yeah. I also had uh, Ole Miss minus 23 at Wake Forest. I think Ole Miss is a wagon. Yeah. I'm sure nobody took Tennessee versus Kent State. That is – Just too high for my taste. It like, was a high – that's Tennessee a high just, yeah. that Tennessee spread. Tennessee covers, though, man. They yeah. cover oh, every time. Nico I mean, looks Nico. really good. Yes. He, I'm surprised he, nobody's touched uh, Colorado State, Colorado. I was I was going to I'm in my not. tier three. I think Colorado State wins that game. What do we know the spread there? Seven. I mean Nebraska. It's seven. It's seven. Uh, Nebraska broke this team. The, the, listen, they were arguing, and I, I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to talk about this. We didn't get a chance to really talk about it because Merck's kind of came on in the middle of our intro. Yeah, of the we got to talk about yeah. Colorado is the most dysfunctional, unorganized. Piece of shit program I've ever had the misfortune of watching <laughs> in my life. So with the it looked like one. a JUCO squad, band of misfits, all individuals playing with each other. They have two players. They got Hunter and they got Shadur. And I hate the press conference of Shadur Sanders talking about how many times Rayola get touched. It's just constant finger pointing, zero accountability. Coaches are fighting each other left, right, and center. If you want to be like the 90s Miami Hurricanes, if you want to be that team, you got to be good. 
when you're good and you take the penalties and you still drop 40 on cats and give them zero and everyone's fucking hooting and hollering and partying, that's cool. That is a thing that we can all get behind yep. and be like, yo, Miami's sick. When you suck and you act like that, that's bitch made shit. Yeah. It, and Travis Hunter throwing that tantrum. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I'm uh, Travis, my God, his his conditioning is one oh, of I mean, one. I've never seen him like it. He's incredible. on the Lance Armstrong protocol. Yeah, he ain't it's incredible. crazy. Incredible. It's unbelievable him playing that many snaps and just like sprinting cross field, chasing guys, covering them, and then uh, he's not even panting. I know. It's incredible. Shador. It has the energy to just be pissed off. Has the energy, yeah, to <laughs> throw, yeah, throw, throw a talk. Like I can't yeah. do that. I'm, I'm but quiet. it's like you 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 can't. You can't have two good players and act like that as a team. The offensive line is garbage. They're bad. Their defense is, you know, garbage. Yeah. But, like, yeah, you have Shadour protection. Are they going to do better? Probably. But it's yeah. just your team sucks. And when you act like that, it's such a terrible look. So he definitely bad. hurts himself in draft boards because he yeah. is a really good player. Yes. Well, him going and talking about the whole line, you never do that I'm telling as a starting you, man, quarterback. Nebraska broke this team. I, they I'm, broke I, this team. They mopped us last year. You you talk about making jumps from year one to year two. There's a little bit of like, damn, because I you know, I root for Dion. Like when he came in and he came, he was coaching a high school, coach at Jackson State. He's going to Colorado. He's talking big game, like telling those boys the honest truth. Like yeah. I, you know, we got to get guys out of here. I'm bringing in my Louie. Mm -hmm. You just think this is a, uh, like a, he's got whether or not people agree, disagree, whatever. But he has this aura about him to where you think he's going to make a big jump from year one to year two. And this team <clears> might not even been a – might – they're going to fight to be a four-win team. And it just – he keeps composed, Dion does, but it just feels like the attitude and the swag he had last year about motivating this team. It This year it feels like he knows it's his son's last year and Travis is like they're going to go to the NFL. And he's it's done. probably his last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell like he's just staying calm and, hey, we got to do this. Yeah. I thought they did a pretty good job here and there, but it wasn't the same. It's not the same Dion that had the hunger as he was climbing you're the right. coaching ladder. Bro, if you're right. a player that's not Travis or Shadour in that thing and you're hearing a press conference of your head coach saying having those two players is like parking a Lamborghini outside of a trailer – that Bro, would hurt I'm me. You, that would and, hurt. That's not composure to me. Like he I, might say it. Calmly, you know what I mean? No, but he's, he's being like, wildly that disrespectful to his players. Yeah. Wild. Oh my like, how do you need guys to come together when your head coach is essentially shitting on all of the other guys? Yeah. yeah. Twenty-two yeah. starters. How, he's shitting on twenty of them. Yeah. How are you as an old lineman? You hear your quarterback talk like that in a press conference? I might let one go. First play. <laughs> I might let – go ahead, ball. This one's for you. Uh, that shit is so fucking disgusting. Devin Gardner. Has that ever happened before in your career? Like, has, uh, you feel like guys have so. ever felt like – No, I've, 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 I've never – I don't think there's ever been an opportunity for coaches to let quarterbacks talk like that. Ever. I've been on bad football teams. Ever. I've been on bad football teams in the NFL yeah. and in college. Like, we gave up negative 45 rushing yards against Michigan State, and all they did was run barrel cross. That's all they fucking did. Devin Gardner was literally picking himself off the ground, pulling, you know, pulling teeth out. It was so bad. He got up in the press conference. Devin and I didn't have a great relationship. He and I got in a fight a Thursday before a, a Saturday game. Still got up there, took accountability. When we all know the offensive line sucked that game. But it's like, you can't be talking like yeah, that. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've never and heard ever. it. Ever. Yeah. Ever. It's crazy because you, you, you said something like, I'm a fan of Dion. I think Dion's the fucking man. Like, mm. it's, it's awesome. But, like, watching this, it's like, bro, you – you, you, he fucked up as far as leadership goes. Just seems like they're packing it in. I mean, behind closed doors, yeah, you can address that issue about, oh, the line ain't for rocking, sure. ain't doing for that. For sure, You know how those meetings You get. do not do it yeah. for the world to see that. Well, like, you get in the team meeting room, you're like, how am I supposed to tell Shadur, step up in the pocket when we see this? Yeah, guys? you do that in but the But that's meeting. like in-house. Yeah, in-house. And it's like the head coach, it's like, you know, Vrabel, Vrabel was this way. It's like, hey, we got our ass beat today. When you talk to the press, you give them all the credit in the world. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then he, you know, he'll, he'll put you on blast. Do we pay no you? Right. Do we next pay? day. Yeah, yeah, next day. How much we pay you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much we pay you? We're going to pay times. you to do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah, a little top, off track there. Top, we'll be yeah, yeah, yeah. With ballsy yeah. picks. We got ballsy pick. <clears throat> Taking another shit. Yeah, listen, See, they are, they're I'm, always I'm so organized. Yeah. It's always so yeah. organized, and then we fuck it up. 
Ballsy Pick of the Week segment presented by Fireball Whiskey. So many things make football great, but you know the best thing? Kicking the living shit out of your rival. Oh, There's dude. absolutely no better feeling as an athlete or a fan. This week, we obviously just covered Colorado versus Colorado State, and Fireball Whiskey is here to give you the spark to ignite that rivalry all season long. Grab your buddy, buy a round, and reignite the rivalry flame. Who wants to start off the Ballsy Pick? I'd love to go. Ballsy Pick this week, and I really don't think it's that ballsy. It's plus 200. But I got South Carolina money line versus LSU. Let's go. I I I think the the Brian Kelly slamming his fist on the table. It's like he planned that. He planned that. And then you can LSU, tell with the energy too. Yeah, like he the didn't energy. Actually mean I just it. don't. South Carolina's got something to fight for. They got they understand what's at stake. Their coach is at stake. The program's at stake. You got a a freshman DN. Well, yeah, what's his name? What Dylan is his name? Dylan, Dylan Stewart. Stewart. <laughs> Number five is that's a crazy an name. Animal. Yeah, he. You think it'd be way different than that Stewart. with with, uh, with an energy well, energy he has? He don't want to be called the kid Stewie, is though. like what, what's he two hundred twenty pounds? Oh really? Yeah. Little He's, Stewie. Yeah. With from Family head? Guy. With demon look on yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> is he what like He's gonna be pounds? the second overall pick in a couple years, right behind Dylan Rayola. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> They're gonna go one and two. The kid, I've never seen him put tackles and blenders like this ever. Yeah. And obviously, people, when you think about South Carolina defense ends, you think of Jadavian Clowney. Kid's got the potential to be better. Kid's he got can, the potential to be he better. He can go through you, around you. His bend is insane. His he, relentless effort getting after his the quarterback bend, is fun to watch. His bend and his motor. His he's got the bend of Von Miller and the motor of Max Crosby. Yeah, and watch those Bro. guys. And the thing Stewie, is, like, watch yeah, those guys. He's not a big cat, so you're thinking, oh, he's that doesn't have a whole lot of power. But because his speed yeah. and it gets you on your heels so much, dude, it's that's what comparison. gets dudes that go down. Yeah, true. He, they, they, hey, it's incredible. Great analogy too. What's grabbing that? the Von Miller and Max Crosby. You like that? I love yeah, that. that was a good that one. From right the out I the appreciate pocket. it. But it is, it, it's true. And this kid, I don't know anything about him other than like the 20 clips I've seen, but the kid is a bat, of, bat out of hell. And I, that, it fires me up mm. to be a freshman, similar to Rayola, walking out in the front, th that type of mentality. Like the kid's got it. He stays healthy. Yeah, we're talking about second overall pick. He's a stud. And I think South Carolina wins this game. I'm betting that. Go ahead, Delaney. Uh, I'm taking Purdue to beat Notre Dame. I, I don't hate that pick, man. I'm taking Purdue to beat Notre <sighs> Dame. Money line. I don't think they win. I do like Purdue with the points. I think it's 10. It's 10. It's plus 10. And it's at Purdue. I do kind of like Purdue in that situation. But, man, Notre Dame's going to be hopefully just – so ready to get the bad taste out of their mouth. I don't I think, think that's so. What it is. I don't think you know so. what I mean. I like that's a game covers. you're going through all the bullshit. So. You're sitting there, you know, well, it's Wednesday right now, but you're sitting there Monday and Tuesday. Coach is still for whatever reason. You're still watching plays from last week's game, and you're pissed off as a player, and you just want to get to like, bro, we just got to get to Saturday to get this bad taste out of our mouth. We can't have that shit again. And Purdue doing the same thing. Like, look, this team came in here. Gave them the business. Bullies get bullied. Paid them one point four million dollars to beat their ass. Let's do it. Ooh, yes. Our turn. It's our turn to get the spotlight. Uh, yeah. It's our turn to be talked about. With this pick, you got to give some shout outs to Sherm. Sherm had a great take on how fraudulent Notre Dame is. And that was he was that yeah. from the get go. From the he get -go. was that a few months ago. You thought it was different after watching them uh, in College Station. It's like yo, you win go into an environment like that and win. Like yeah. oh, they might be legit. <laughs> yeah. And then drop it like they did against yeah. a team that you literally paid to come play you. And going off of that, my ballsy picks A and M at Florida. I'm going Florida money line plus 154. Like, I, do I think Florida is like a quality football team? No, but I do think that they can win in the swamp. And being underdogs at the swamp, they came out against Sanford, hung 40. It was 45-7. Yes, it's Sanford, but after such an abysmal performance against Miami, you hope that coaching staff is has just been on the ass. You got A and M yeah. coming into town. Give me Florida. At the swamp, money line plus one fifty four. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. A ballsy pick. It's a ballsy. ballsy it's pick. a ballsy, ballsy pick. pick. Ballsy pick. He, ballsy he, pick. Yeah. He's he's nuts. Rapid yeah. fire. Ballsy pick. He's, rapid fire. We got rapid fire, and then the fan call in. What that will call us it out with? But Stephen, go ahead and kick us off, bro. All right, boys. Arkansas State at Big Blue. Michigan favored by twenty three and a half. Totals forty seven and a half. Under. Arkansas State plus 23 and a half. Under. Nevada at Minnesota. Gophers favored by 16 and a half. Total is 43 and a half. Nevada. 
Give me Minnesota, the Gophers, the Fleck Bank, minus 16 and a half. Over. Ole Miss favored by 23 and a half at Wake Forest. Total is 64 and a half. Ole Miss, 23 and a half. Ole Miss is a machine, minus 23 and a half. Lane, Kiff, Lane Kiffin has those boys rolling. Ole Miss. Vandy at Georgia State. Commodores favored by 10 and a half. Total is 46 and a half. Vanderbilt, 10 and a half. Believe. Shout out Pavia, the yeah. psychopath. Believe in them. Vandy minus 10 and a half at Georgia State. I know this is rapid fire. With this win, they will clear their over under of games they were picked to win this year. It was two and a half? It was two and a half. Wow. I didn't take it. Vandy knows nothing about this game, but Vandy. <laughs> Colorado favored by seven at Colorado State. Totals 58 and a half. Colorado State money line. <laughs> Let's go Colorado State plus seven. Colorado State plus seven. Indiana at UCLA. Hoosiers, Hoosiers favored by three. Totals 46. Indiana minus three. Indiana minus three at UCLA. I think Indiana can be scrappy. Shit, I hate to do this to my boy. Indiana. <laughs> Gotta take Indiana. You ain't taking UCLA. That's home base. Man. I know. I can't do it. I can't do I'm it. I mean, Indiana. Yeah, they did. They First not. Big Ten game I ever played in. Yeah, that Big Ten. There was ten. a girl. Had some hammer cannons behind her. <laughs> some hammer pants? Hammer cannons. Hammer cannons. Dirty pillows. Oh, I don't know what that means. Boobs. Oh, okay. As Mitch likes to say, boobies. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> See that booby scene? <laughs> All right, let's get into the uh, fan call-in picks parlay. Last week, our boy Allen, for the shame. love of God, he's shamed. He's on our call of shame. Uh, uh, R.I.P. Uh, the boy. Uh, Just a brutal performance all around. Yeah, um, sheesh. Our fan call-in pick. Let's get to it. Here are Jared's old man's uh, picks of the week that I like. Uh, I like South Carolina, mainly I live in South Carolina. They're playing LSU at home, getting seven points. I think the Gamecocks are for real. Uh, Boston College is going on the road to Missouri. They haven't been this excited since uh, Doug Flutie uh, had his uniform on, but they're getting 16 and a half at Missouri. I think they'll cover that. And then the final one of my trifecta would be Michigan, uh, minus 23.5 against Arkansas State. I think they have something to prove after last week, and uh, we all know what I'm talking about, so I think they're going to run it up there. Kind of the Clemson effect. That's my big three, so I hope that's good enough. Yo, shout out Mike, Jared's dad. He understood the assignment. Um, yes, he did. We need more fan calling. We need more fan call-ins. We'll find out a more, maybe a more fluid way to do it. Yeah. But we need more fan call-ins. Again, get an opportunity to get featured on the show like Big Mike just did. Shout out Jared's dad. He understood the assignment. That parlay, uh, if you didn't hear him, South Carolina plus seven, Boston College plus 16 and a half, and Michigan minus 23 and a half. That parlay is plus 595 on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Um, I like, you know, I like both of them outside of the Michigan minus 23 and a half. But I might ride with them just to kind of, I'm going to ride know. with him because it's just pops straight up. Family first. You feel me? That's yeah. how I get it. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I went on this whole thing about how I'm not going to bet Billy O in Boston College. And now it's in the parlay. But <laughs> oh, That's right. Yeah. That's right. You can't, But here bro. we are. You got to stand on business. Nah, fuck it, dude. You're, you're right. going to ride with Mike? Nah, you're, you're right. Yeah, you're like, right. dude, uh, there's 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 a little blender in my head. See, me, I, I, can, I can maybe hedge my bet a little bit because, again, I like South Carolina plus seven. I love Boston College plus 16 and a half. You know, the Arkansas State, I'm kind of just picking it as my tier three. But if I want to hedge my bet a little bit, I'm going to throw a little bit on that parlay plus 595. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys. Twenty three and a half. You guys go ahead. Yeah, I'm going I'll I'm going to put a dollar on it. Yeah, see what it does. Yeah, I'm just see what it what does. What is it? Turn the dollar into five. 95. 595. Yeah, straight up. Love Shit. that. Hopefully we see Big Mike in the uh, call, of, call of Fame. Get yeah. that photo yeah, off. Yeah, we'd love for him to be the first call of fame. I mean, I think Will needs to do the videos because, Taylor, you just didn't get a lot of I know. feedback. Well, I'm not yeah. as active. I tried tweeting. Yeah, yeah, you're not, not as active. active. I tried tweeting, too. No, you, when you do your video, you get more people. Yeah. I personally in. think we just need to have an email for people to go to. Because you got a lot of Because then we can say it on the show. You know what I mean? Like, right now, I can say, hey, send your video to, and then we got the, we got the email sitting right there versus, hey, wait for... Five o'clock on Tuesday evening and find one of our tweets. Right. You know what I mean? We can yeah, kind of stay yeah. Yeah. uniformed across the board. Understandable. But again, work in progress.